20 minutes away from here in Highland Park. There was a shooting. There were uh, several uh, people uh, that we know have been shot. That's all we know. And uh, we're just going to take a moment and uh, pray for the families. Friends, let's pray for the law enforcement and, and even the organizers of this parade. They've done an amazing job. There's a lot of confusion and frustration that the parade's being canceled, but they did the right thing because people's safety has got to come first. Uh, the shooter is still at large, so let's pray for uh, justice to, uh, to prevail. And, uh, and then let's move on and let's celebrate celebrate the independence of this nation. We know the mission. We have got to get corruption and evil out of our government, and we have got to elect women of honor and of courage uh, to, uh, to get this uh, country and this state back on track. Yeah, uh, candidate for a governor out there in Illinois. His name is Darren Bailey. Of course, he's been endorsed by a former President Trump. You can probably imagine why. But his first thing he wants you guys to know is we got to move on. Just move on past this and pray. Pray and move on. I'm not sure if he got the memo. Maybe he's not that good of a candidate. But we've moved on past just saying that and thinking you're going to get a, a beyond everything and all the comments that people are going to say in response to this. Let's just move on and celebrate freedom and independence hours after people are no longer breathing at this freedom and independence parade. Uh, since then, he has apologized though. Bailey said in a statement released after his comments that he apologized if he if he diminished the pain being felt across Illinois. And it's just in Illinois, by the way. Again, these are all political statements. This is him trying to protect his political campaign. He's not talking about anything else, he actually doesn't care. Bailey said he hopes people can come together in prayer and to take action to address rampant crime and mental health issues to ensure tragedies like the shooting do not happen again. So the question is, how is he gonna pull that off? Because he really usually doesn't care. He also has a history of saying and doing ridiculous things as well. Let's go to that because Mr. Bailey rose to prominence in Illinois politics by introducing legislation to kick Chicago out of the state because that makes sense. When the coronavirus pandemic began, he was removed from a state legislative session for refusing to wear a mask and he sued Governor Pritzker was a Democrat over statewide virus mitigation efforts. That's just run of the mill Republicanism when it came to the coronavirus. So uh, painted on the door of his campaign bus is the Bible verse Ephesians uh, chapter six, verse 10 through 19, which calls for followers to wear God's armor in a battle against evil rulers, maybe against evil bullets. Uh, he is the favorite candidate of the state's anti-abortion groups as well. And on Friday, he celebrated the Supreme Court rule over a ruling that overturned Roe versus Wade as a historic and welcome moment. He has also said he opposes in the practice, including the in cases of rape and incest. So this guy is just a gym. He's a, the regular, uh, your run of the mill Republican who wants us all to move on. Except he's not so good at trying to mask it. Maybe you should take some advice from Ted Cruz, uh, Steve Scalise, uh, and, and Mitch McConnell. Goes to guys like that. Uh, what are your thoughts, Brett? There's a lot in there. Uh, I like that he's quoting the Bible when it comes to anything, especially abortion. Because uh, as we all know, uh, the book of Numbers has a special exception where you can perform abortions if you want to put a curse on your wife with poison. Uh, so just know that if they're going to be biblical about abortions, they have to accept that fact. And also, the Bible is the most American about abortions possible because it also <laughs> says like you just have to pay money for one if you cause a miscarriage or an abortion you should pay for it, which is the American medical system in a nutshell. You just have to pay a fine in the Bible <laughs> and this you should just like have to pay Planned Parenthood like if you want to have it done. So any religious person who says that the Bible is against abortion is lying. They're also anti-Semitic because it in the Jewish faith, as they support Israel, Jewish faith, it's like for you can you should be able to have abortions. Israel, their beloved country, uh, of all evangelical Christians for some reason, uh, <laughs> makes abortions safe and available. Um, it's just that's how it is. So anyone who says it's a religious exemption, maybe for you, then don't have one. But anytime they say like God will protect us from this, like where's he been at? Where's that God armor? Can I go buy it? Yeah, go Will it deflect the bullets? And are you're just talking? And they also got the guy said he wants to get rid of evil. How are you going to do that? He just wants to, like every Republican, gerrymander out the thing they would otherwise have to deal with by carving Chicago out of the state. It's frustrating that the most psychotic people in politics are the most popular under Trump.
That's the way it works. Uh, they don't need to have any facts or any kind of reasoning behind what they're saying as long as they appeal to the emotions. I've said it a million times. Their emotions are involved, therefore, you can somehow carve Chicago out of the state. And you can also say, let's move on from a shooting that happened hours before you said, let's move on. Uh, let's take our first break, though. When we come back, a few of your thoughts. Also, um, uh, there's there was marchers out in Boston, uh, and they had a bit of an escort. I'm not sure if he was official or if he's just uh, kind of sympathetic to it.